Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss on the object repositories. So, what are the object repository in the QTP? It is the storage location where all the objects along with its properties and description get stored into. Okay, so there are two types of object repository. The first one is the local and the another one is shared. So in this video, we'll discuss on the local object repository. This is also referred as a per action object repository. So local object repository is the default object repository. It is specific to actions and local object repository is accessible to you when you are editing any script into the QTP editor. Local object repository cannot be reused. It is one of its major drawbacks. Okay, so let's go to the QTP tool directly. So I have opened the script that we have recorded earlier uh, using Orbis traveling site. So these are the steps that gets recorded for the operations that we have performed on the application. Along with these steps, some objects are also stored in the object repository. So this is the object repository screen and this is the local object repository for this test. So this screen is divided into two parts. The first one is the list of the objects and another one is the objects property. So list of the objects is divided in two nodes. The first one is test objects where all the objects along with its parent child hierarchy gets listed. And the second is the checkpoint and the output objects. We'll discuss this point when we'll talk about the checkpoint and the output objects. Okay, so let's see the objects hierarchy here. So this is the parent object of this traveling a line then here are the pages two pages within these objects and with each page there are the multiple objects you can click on the plus icon to expand this and you can click on the minus icon to collapse this okay so these are the different objects that get stored into the object repository so you can differentiate each objects by this icon see this is the icon for the browser similarly for page and the other objects so when you select any object here, its property gets listed in this section. So if you selected this Orbis Travel Airline page object, so it will show you the logical name of the object, its class and the repository in which repository it is stored, local or shared. Okay. And the description of this object. Let's take the search flight buttons. Okay. So these are the mandatory and the assistive properties that are listed by default in this test object details section here where visual relation identifier we'll see this later on the second is ordinal identifier if qtp stores some ordinal identifier that is index or location that will also listed over here then whether the smart identification is enabled for this or not it is also listed over here so if you want some additional properties to get listed over here you can add from here and then select any property let's say if you want to select the visible property you just click this and press ok similarly you can delete any of the property from here just click on this and then delete here and the property gets deleted from here you can change the value of the property as well by just double clicking on this option and you can edit or you can update the properties from here so this is the logical name of the proper object you can change the logical name from here or you can just click on the object and press either f2 or double click you can change the object's name from here also okay so there are the different operations that are available for each and every object so if you want to delete the object just press the delete here you can do it from right click also you can do cut copy rename and paste the object as well if you want to add a new object in this object repository you can do it from here just click on the add object now see the control gets to your focus application so if you want to add the objects from your application so just see the hand icon is appearing over here so click on the object that you want to add the object repository it will show you that this object will get added so if you want to add this object press ok button ok and see this object with all its property gets added over here so this object property has a index ordinate 
ordinal identify with it so it store that property as well okay so if you this is a very small object repository in real world it might happen that you have a thousand number of objects in this repository then in that case if you want to locate this object onto your application you can do that as well by clicking on this highlight application thing so se select any of the object and click on the highlight see the highlight icon appears onto their application i'll show you once again click on this see the black box here so it is highlighting that object similarly you can highlight the object in object repository as well so click on this hand like object repository icon then select any object let's say if i want to select this object see okay now it will show you that this object is not in the object repository so if that object exists over here let's say i'll do this for web edit okay it will not locate this object it means this object is not exist in this object repository if that object exist in this rep repository it will highlight that object within the your object repository similarly say in future if the description and the property of that object gets changed and you want to update that object in the repository you can do it from here let's say if i want to update uh let's say this thing destination thing and i just want to click update from application then select that application okay press it and that object will get updated from here it will update all the properties that are associated with that object as a new object so this is what you can do the different different things in the object repository if any other object repository is associated here that can also listed over here so here this is the local objects only that can be listed over here now the drawback of this object repository is you cannot use this object repository with another test this repository is available to this test only so for that purpose there are the shared object repositories we'll discuss that in the shared object repositories okay now one more thing let's say here the name of your button is search flights in the code if you see the name here the search flight is appearing so if you update the name from here let's say i'll update it from search flights to flight okay press enter so the name updated here as well as it will also automatically updated into your code see the search flights now get updated to your flights option so you need not to modify it man manually it will automatically update your object repositories now here you can associate the shared object repository with this also from this option okay we'll see when we will discuss about the shared objects repository so this is your local object repositories you can do the you can export the local objects as well from here option just click on the export local objects okay now it will save it as a dot tsr format the object repository get stored as a dot tsr format you can select the any option let's say i select the uh, d drive and i have saved is test repo so this all the objects get exported to the test repo dot tsr you can export and replace as well from here you can do all the edit related operations from object here all the operations that are available as icon over here you can do that things from here also similarly view you can highlight in application you can locate in repositories there are object spy thing as well you can spy an object using this thing just click on the head icon and then click on this thing so the properties of that object get listed over here so if you want to add this object into your repository just add this add icon so see here that object get added to your repository from the object spy option here there is a information that this is the local object repository okay so this is all about the local object repository in the qtp thank you